Welcome back to Generation Gap. Last time, we compared convertibles. If you remember, Matt brought a Miata. I did. And I brought a beautiful Thunderbird. If you missed it, please click the link below. But the results are in, and to no surprise, the Thunderbird wins. Well, you know what, that's the past. We're working on today, and I think I got you. We'll see. This is David. He spends his days hunting down hard to find classic car parts for Haggerty clients. And his nights wrenching on his two Chevelles, David firmly believes that nothing worth owning was built after 1974. This is Matt. He drives his custom tuned 2011 Mitsubishi Evo. His passion is connecting with car enthusiasts around the world as Haggerty's social media analyst. And Matt is convinced that cars don't have to be old to be great. In each episode, we pick a category. They choose their favorites, and you decide who comes out on top. This episode, we're talking Corvettes. Hi, I'm Matt, and this is my older co-host. Much wiser host, David. Today, I've brought a 2007 Z06 Corvette. And I have driven this iconic 1963 Corvette split window. Now, and before we get into the bickering, let's go to the specs. The 1963 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray featured the iconic one-year-only split-window design with an optional 300 horsepower, 327 cubic inch, 5.4 liter V8 engine. It had improved handling and performance over the first generation, including independent rear suspension. The Stingray flaunted a Larry Shinoda design, including decorative hood vents, knockoff wheels, and hidden flip-up headlights. The 2007 Chevrolet Corvette Z06, the fastest, most powerful, and most technologically advanced Corvette to that point. Utilizing an aluminum chassis, titanium alloy connecting rods, a magnesium alloy engine cradle, and carbon fiber front fenders. With an aggressive 505 horsepower from the hand-built 427 cubic inch, 7 liter V8 engine that could achieve 0 to 60 in 3.7 seconds in first gear, the Z06 could generate a maximum force of 1.04 Gs. All right, David, why a split window? The split window is the iconic Corvette. When someone says, I have a Corvette, you would say, do you have a split window? You wouldn't, because it was only made one year. Wow, well, for good reason. <laughs> a little difficult to see out the back. Yeah, it's very difficult to see out of the back All window. Right. Now, it's not bad, but, but why this particular car? Because this is the most powerful small block Chevy had ever put in a car. They forgot the chrome bumpers. These are useful. They, they actually have little crumple useful. zones and why do I want to crumple? So you don't die. Ah! Why do I need to see the disc brakes? Because they're big. Okay, but it's why do I need to see them? It's a Corvette. And stopping is, is overrated anyway. So why do you have what I can only guess is a C-pillar in the middle of your back window? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is a C-pillar in the back window. The car is nice. I'd like to see if cars are behind me or not. All right, all right, I suppose. We'll have to see, I guess. All right, whoa. It's all the way down here. That's low. Push to go, huh? Mm-hmm. Hey. Now you're going. That sounds pretty nice. Did you notice the G meter? Uh, no, I see it now that I look closer. Yep. Let you know how many G's you're doing the in the challenge. Bar. You mean the challenge meter? That's right. I will say this: this car is comfortable right here in this environment. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it's also comfortable in this one. <laughs> Those brakes work. What do you think of that? I like that it shakes the whole car. Isn't that nice? It's kind of fun. It feels good. <laughs> it's like, hey. I'll admit it. It's kind of fun. I'm up high in this thing. Comparatively. Isn't that nice? You sit like, up. Yeah. Cruise control is overrated. That means you're tired of driving. These gauges are almost mesmerizing. The way that needle is so sunk in. This is not about A to B transportation. No. no car should be only about A to B transportation. If you're looking for A to B transportation, get on the bus. Okay, Matt, 
Here's what I want you to see. A full designed car. Look at the back of this beauty. It's got shape all the way down the back end. It's got beautiful sculptured bumpers. Not flush. Not, I ran out of design time at the back of this car and it's time for a potty break. I will give you the, it looks like they almost started at the back of the car it when does. designing Look this thing. This. Let, let me show you something. Hood opens the exact same. Beautiful, all it's right. It's no way all confusing right. for you. But the plastic is very confusing. So I, when I go to tune this car with my friends and, I'm, and I'm, I want to actuate the throttle, how do I go about doing that with no, you, no linkage? It you, has no linkage, it's all wires. First off, you tune a car like this from the driver's seat with a computer. Oh boy, here and we go. Secondly, drive by wire, More as wires. far as government standards, is better. <laughs> better, okay. Than a throttle cable. They did not skimp on this. This is all performance. All right, look at this. I'm blinded by the chrome on this. Thing. Absolutely, you're blinded by the chrome. What? If you have right. 327 cubic inches of orange Chevrolet muscle. I did notice the orange. Absolutely. There is no computer. No computer. We don't need wires for this car. You, so, so virtually it's not. relatively inefficient is what you're telling me. It's efficient enough. The headlights don't flip up and get in the way. They're okay. nice and low. They decided to body paint them even though they're under glass. They definitely have some sleekness to them, I'll give them that. You've got a nice low air dam, but you don't have a big whatever it is on the hood. Style? Accoutrements? Trim? Obstructions? It wasn't about being aerodynamic. This is. Okay, so from a performance standpoint, I, uh, wow. <laughs> I mean, wow. It's, a, it's an angry little car. This is no Miata, my friend. No, it's not a Miata. Two Corvettes bleed excitement. You I cannot disagree with that. Not disagree All with right. that. This is a totally different excitement. I was not as fearful for my life driving it <laughs> as I was riding it in oh, that no. one. Okay, Matt, we can probably bicker about this all day long, I would I'm, I'm sure, and, and enjoy it. Let's look at four categories. Let's start okay. with the first one. Let's do performance. Okay, that's easy enough for me. I win. Okay. Okay more powerful, but let's talk about future collectability. I think it will continue to go up. It will not time out as some people think it may. And here's why I say that. Okay. Is my son, my four-year-old son, notices this car and sees this car. He is your son. <laughs> he is my son. <laughs> but I still think that people are going to think this thing's badass in 50 years. It will be. Well, but this one's already collectible, so this one wins. Excellent. Okay, next category. Yeah, here we're talking about something breaks. I think they're going to be frustrated with the Z06 Corvette. You may be right. They're going to be frustrated in 30 years to try to find parts for this. Right now, you can walk into any Chevy dealership to buy it. Are you going to pay a whole lot of money? Oh, brother. Yes, because this has the extra special parts right. and the only on the Z06 options. Right. So at the end of the day... So the only thing that's special about mine are they're older. It's older. But you got a lot of people who's keeping the parts. True. I think this True. one's easier to own. All right. From a nostalgia standpoint, 
Hands down winner. You have to you have to agree there. Nostalgia now. That's still a Corvette. When someone says I have a Corvette, you instantly think split window. You do. I'd still rather drive it. Last category. Passion. How does it make you feel? The heart and soul oh, yeah. when the, you're driving it. The buzz. That's right. That one gets you that's a buzz. That that's a buzz walking up to it in the parking lot. That's a buzz driving it. That was fun to drive, but this thing gets my heart rate going, and it goes like snot. I'm 100% convinced. Okay. I think they're pretty convinced as well. I don't know. But please, cast your vote at the link below. And thanks for all the great comments. Keep them coming. We're having a lot of fun making this, and we'll see you next time.